Good morning. This is the morning news brought to you from the Spicer Library. Today is Monday, November 8th. I am Drew. Good morning, scholars. I am Jake. Our lunch for today is cheese quesadilla. Hello, I am Josh. Please pause to observe a moment of silence. Please stand for the United States and Texas pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated. This week we have Miss Haynes class helping us with the announcements. Hello, my name is Casey Hansen. Scholar Lee behavior for this week at Spicer is scholars see from different perspectives. A good scholar understands and empathizes with different points of view. Hi, my name is Abby Elizabeth. We elevate our of depth and complexity for this week's this rules. As we study, we should ask ourselves what are the rules that we need to use. Here's our science guide for us. <coughs> the science word of the week is weathering. Weathering is the breaking down of, of large rocks into smaller pieces. When this is smaller sediment moves from one place to another by wind or water, erosion occurs. Weathering and erosion can take millions of years. The science forecast of the of the day is high high seventy, low um fifty two, and plenty of sunshine in the in the afternoon. Here's our principal Ms. Schwaber. Thank you, Forrest, and welcome to Monday morning. A few announcements today. We do not have our scholars of the day to announce today, but we will not to fear have all K through five announced during this week. I want to mention that uh, there, are, it, there are a few classrooms left for Play It Safe this week. Today, it will be taking place. Teachers, if you would make sure that your DVD players are working and they will be in your classrooms today. We also have beginning today, a two-week window begins today for our unannounced district-wide evacuation drill. So teachers, if you would, just follow the same procedures as you would for a fire drill. If you know you're going to have a substitute in your classroom, make sure that they are also aware of the procedures. We do not know uh, when the, announce, uh, the unannounced fire drill will take place. We just know that it will be a two-week window beginning today. That is all the announcements I have. Right now, back to Drew Pollum. Remember to be a marvelous scholar today. Teachers' birthdays this week are Miss Brown tomorrow. Remember that Colt Corral is tonight at 6 o'clock. Have a great day at Spicer. <laughs>